Welcome to Wacker Noisen Virtual Training. My name is Eric Whistlecroft. Today we're going to cover the DPU 5545 reversible plate. First things first, these are built in Germany, so they run on a metric system over there. Uh, D stands for diesel, P for plate, U is the German word for reversible that I'm not going to try and pronounce. 55 stands for kilonewtons. That's the force that it is putting into the ground. That translates in North American terms to roughly 12,300 foot-pounds of force going into the earth. The 45 is the centimeters in width of the machine, but it's talking about the narrowest width of the machine. With these winglets that ship with all these reversible plates, the 5545, the 6555, the 4545, this unit itself is 60 centimeters wide. Talk about the operation of the machine very quickly here. You can see the handle is folded into a transport or storage configuration. Heavy duty lock brings this handle down. Now all of a sudden, you're ready to operate. If you're a different height than I am, you can easily adjust it by just turning this bolt, which is heavily cushioned to an, a height adjustment as an operator that is comfortable for you. This handle's been redesigned quite a few times, gets better each time at lowering the pan vibrations on the operator, meaning that it's, it's, it's designed to keep the operator safe. Another design feature of the unit is that this being your control handle, when you pull back to make it go reverse or the opposite to go forward and the handles let go, it goes back to neutral, meaning that when it's in neutral, this machine will not be moving forwards or backwards. The benefit of this, of course, is if the operator has a heart attack, for example, the machine won't keep running. It'll just neutralize into uh, a non-moving non position. Your throttle lever is conveniently located right here. Uh, it's also the shutoff lever and it controls the fuel. So all the way to the left, completely shuts off the fuel, kills the engine. All the way to the right, now you're at full throttle and you're ready to go. These machines are primarily electric start. 99% of users use the electric start feature. Um, there is a backup hand crank tool that we sell to start the machine, but it's never used anymore. Um, one thing that does happen is sometimes the battery will drain over the winter and the charge will leave it. If you come around to this side, there's a very simple solution to boost the battery. You just take this red indicator here right next to the battery, pull it up, put your clamp for your positive cable on here, take the negative because it's a frame ground unit, and clamp it to any bolt or component that is not painted, that had, would have good conductivity. That'll jump your battery and get it charged again. Speaking about the battery, it's a maintenance-free battery. Uh, it's designed to provide years of ser uh, trouble-free service. Uh, powered by Hatz diesel engine, these engines have been used in our industry for this type of equipment for years and years. Our competition uses them. They are the gold standard of an air-cooled diesel engine. One thing I would like to show though is on our machines, uh, specifically, we have kept the, uh, the maintenance of it, the convenience of maintenance that is in mind, uh, at top of mind, actually. So at the back machine, you have your oil drain plug right here. You un unthread this, bring it out the side of the frame. You can drain your engine oil very, very quickly and easily. Your oil filter is right here. Oil dipstick is here. The fuel system, there's your fuel filter tucked in there and a drain for your fuel tank. Very, very easily done. Um, for maintenance of the eccentric weight system, which produces all the downforce, there's your oil drain plug here. And for the belt that operates the eccentrics, so this belt runs between the engine and the eccentrics, very easily accessed by taking off this cover. Just a little side note on the engineering thought and detail that goes into these machines. You can notice that none of these bolts have dropped out. They're designed to stay hot in place, so they're not lost. It's just a nice little touch for this machine. One thing that I would like to point out that not many people know of 
is that in a cold weather start application for HOTS diesel engines, there's this little black lever in here, and it's called a decompression lever. When it's pulled all the way back like it is now, that relieves the compression in the uh, piston. And so the starting uh, motor can crank over quite easily without the compression to fight against. What this does is if it's cold and it's gonna be more difficult to start than normal, you pull this back, it relieves the compression, you hit the starter key, it cranks over the engine quite easily, and this will slowly come back automatically to close the compression. It just saves a little bit of wear on your starter. Uh, five year warranty on this machine, aside from, of course, the engine manufacturer, Hots, which carries their own warranty. We locate the, uh, the serial number plate quite easily on the handle here. And uh, yeah, it's, it's been a staple machine for the Wacker Neusen fleet. Uh, the other thing that I want to mention here is that the 5545 does about 90% of the compaction force of its larger sibling, this, the DPU 6555, but it costs a little less. Uh, this unit weighs 950 pounds, as its bigger brother weighs 1,100. So in the rental industry, that 1,000 pound plate mark, now you have an option on either side of that. And you can leave it up to your customer. Do they want to pay you know, a little bit less for a 950 pound unit that technically is in that 1,000 pound class? Or do they want to pay a little more for that 1,100 pound unit that's just a premium unit for that class? some options that are nice to have when you're out in the field. That's about it, and uh, we'll, we'll move on to the next machine.